back to my channel today i'm here with another review and today we're going to be reviewing the laura mercier natural skin perfecting tinted moisturizer um there's two tinted moisturizers by laura mercier um when you look on sephora's website you will see there's two different um tinted moisturizers by laura mercier so i just decided to go with the natural skin perfecting and i seen that one of my subscribers said that she used this one as well so i decided to go with this one and this also comes in two sizes a full size and a mini size i went with the mini just in case i didn't like it the full size retails for 47 dollars and the mini retails for 25 it is a best-selling tinted moisturizer with a new and improved formula infused with skincare benefits for up to 24 hour hydration and spf 30 sunscreen to protect the coverage is light and the finish is a skin tint so there's only 20 shades available but anyway let's just get right into this review y'all so i already have primer on and i have the shade five in walnut so let's do a quick kind of swatch of this if it'll come out This is what it looks like. This should match. We'll see in a second. <laughs> I like this tinted moisturizer a lot already. It actually kind of reminds me of like a foundation a little bit. I know it said the coverage was light, but I feel like this coverage is more medium. You could, I feel like you could possibly build this up almost to like a full coverage foundation. That's just what I think. Um, I think it looks like the skin. At first, I thought the shade was a little too light, but once I blended it out, as you see, I feel like it's a perfect shade. This does not have any type of scents. It's definitely fragrance free. Like, I'm really loving it so far. So I'm going to wear it for a couple hours. This is probably going to be about an eight-hour wear test because I don't get home today until, like, 4 o'clock. So, hopefully this holds up because I think they said this was very hydrating as well. So, that I don't know, but we'll see in a couple hours. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Um, It is now 5 o'clock. So, I think I've had this on, what, 9, 10 hours? But I do like how my face looks. Like, this looks pretty good to be like almost nine, what, nine and a half, 10 hours. Looks like I have a regular foundation on. As you see, I am starting to get oily around my nose and on my forehead. I did have a mask on all day at work. I did not take my mask off at all. I do kind of feel like it has started to fade like on um, this area of my face with my dark marks and on this side, but usually skin tints like fade on me after a while anyway. I feel like my face looks like I have a regular foundation on. Like if. It would be hard to believe that I have a skin tint on if I didn't know any better. Finally did not settle into my pores. This is a skin tint that is made for everybody. On a scale of one to 10, I would give this a 10. So when I took my mask off, I noticed that this did not transfer hardly any on my mask, which is also another plus. So you get a really good skin tint that doesn't transfer, that doesn't make you look too oily or too greasy. Like this is a real nice one. Like I'm, I'm really, really loving it. it. Would I recommend this one? Absolutely. The plus for me is the fact that you can pick up a mini size or a full size to try it out so even if you're not sure whether or not you want to go out and purchase the full size i would definitely recommend picking up the mini but anyway y'all those are my thoughts on the skin tint don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye